Rod. This is Annie. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get this into Elements. So here's my email. Yours might look a little different, of course. So I'm going into my inbox. I'm going to open up Diane's email, and here's his photo. So there's several ways to do it, but the easiest way on a Mac is to take it and drag it over to your desktop. So now it's on our desktop. Otherwise, you could just download it and it ends up down here. And then you can go get it another way, but this way works really easy. Then you can just reduce the size of your mail. Go in wherever you're keeping your elements. Um, I happen to be keeping mine instead of on my uh, desktop. I'm going in here and I'm going to open it up. And you see down here where it says Photo Editor, just forget the organizer. Go to Photo Editor. And up here where it says Open, it should just give you the options of what's on your desktop if you go ahead and choose Desktop. So Desktop shows Larry's trousers. So I'm going to hit that, and then I'm going to say Open. And there's his trousers. Then you, of course, can go over here to the right, and we can do, you know, I don't know much about this, but let's say we like that, Smart Fix. Or let's say we want to do the exposure. You know, you just kind of roll over it, and then you can pick one of those. Uh, lighting, color, let's say it needed, uh, maybe he wanted those colors, which I doubt. Like this is more of a gray. So I'm not going to do anything with that. And that's balanced. Now remember up here at the very top it says quick, guided, and expert. A lot of times mine just ends up on expert, which is a bunch of different tools that you don't really need right now, just till you get used to this. So put it on quick instead of expert, which expert would be here. Put it on quick and then use these over here on your right. And that'll be enough. I mean, that's pretty cool. You can do almost everything here automatically too. Sharpen it automatically or whatever. Now, when you want to get rid of it, you go up here to File, and you say Save, and you say Trousers, and you save it back to your desktop or wherever you keep your images. I would suggest putting it back on your laptop so that you have, I mean your desktop, so that you have access to it right away if you want to email it to someone else. So say save. Larry's trousers already exist because of course I have the raw image. So I could say, okay, why don't you just replace that? I could get another one if I want. And the JPEG options, you want to say maximum. Um, oh, I've never been in here before. But anyway, you want a large file that's 24.7 megabytes. I don't need that much. So we could say a medium file that's at least emailable. Um, and just for now, let's not go there, but just say, okay. All right, just say, okay. Now we can close out of this. Um, I'm just going to quit it here, up here in the left, quit it, because I'm done with it, I'm done with it. And here are Larry's trousers. So then you can go back into that email that Diane sent to us, and you can reply whatever way, um, you know, she told you to do it. I think she said... To send it to her but anyway you could just go ahead drag that little puppy right into there and you would send it back to her or start a new email here and say Diane and then uh, trousers Larry's trousers <laughs> and just add it like Okay, done. And then you say send, and she gets get his, gets his trousers. 
So I'm not sure what she said to do, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I haven't read my email, so I'm behind. But anyway, that's how it works. I hope that was helpful for you. I think I should send that to Larry. All right. See you tomorrow.